I would like to say thanks for all the new subscribers and the old that's been with me for this past month and a half. And I can't thank you enough. I can't do this without you. And I'm really looking forward to making more videos. Now let's jump right into this video, shall we? All right, let's get to the nitty gritty of today's topic, and that's lockup. But before that, let's start off with a statistical analysis about Jasmine Coin and what's going on for today. Currently, the Jasmine Coin is trading at 0 0.0052 with a market cap of 259 million, currently up by 5%. Rank 148. Volume within 24 hours is 36% down. 33 million. Ranked 153. So the circulating supply is right now is 49 billion. What's crazy about this is there was just 60 million that was added into circulation by a dip metaverse he said 60 million tokens from the deployer were added to cs 10 minutes ago the circulating supply is 49 billion 219 million 999 thousand 876 98 point four four percent of total supply there's about 780 million left in the deployer wallet which they should by they i meant the jasmine team should be able to deploy it before 2024 if not probably finish deploying in the early parts of 2024. Nice. Now with that, let's go to the holders. There's currently about 57,439 holders for Jasmine. And on that note, let's jump right in to today's discussion. So what is a lockup? This refers to a specific period of time in which cryptocurrency tokens cannot be transacted or traded. Usually, these lockups are used as a preventative strategy to maintain a stable long-term value of a particular asset. This is what Harasan informed us on X. Until March, we would like to improve the utility of the ERC-20 tokens by locking up and moving them to a wallet on our consortium chain. Mind you, for those that are new, Harasan's first language is Japanese, and English is his second language. On that note, I believe this is what Harasan was trying to say, but don't quote me on this, okay? <laughs> and please comment below if you agree or disagree with what I'm about to say. I believe he's trying to say, come March, we will start the lockup procedure. With this lockup, we hope to achieve the improvements of the Jasmine coin and eradicate any bugs or faulty codes within the consortium chain. The amount to be locked up is still undetermined. By all means, feel free to read what I just posted on X because I was a bit confused, but now I see. Feel free to follow Team Lambo because I've noticed he's one of the few people that Harasan replies to. And I'm a little jelly, but I'm happy for him, man. <laughs> and yes, you did see that correctly. I am trying to be an ambassador for Jasmine, and I don't care how long it takes or how many videos I need to make until that happens, but it's one of my many goals in life, and I hope to achieve it. If not, I'll keep trying, you know? What's life fighting for if you're not willing to try? I don't know who said it, but I just decided to add that. It's, it's not even part of my script. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. Okay, with that being said, let's barrel through to the next topic, which is my own take on Jasmine being in the innovation zone. This may irk some Jasmine holders, but I'm glad CZ placed Jasmine in the innovation zone. 
Why interpret the innovation zone as something bad? What does it mean to innovate? Before we talk about what's on the screen, let's just do a quick summary about what Jasmine is trying to develop. The mission of the Jasmine developers is to create an environment by shaping an infrastructure where users can easily, safely, and smoothly use data. As a result, Jasmine aims to provide its users with a powerful infrastructure, an intuitive interface, and a secure environment for storing and sharing data in the Jasmine space can be transformed into a personal asset. This takes time. Mind you, Jasmine was created in 2016, but the project did not launch until 2021 at the later months when the bull run was fading into the jaws of the bear. And now with that, let's take a look at what's on the screen. The innovation zone was introduced to give Binance users a place to trade innovative projects with higher volatility and risk compared to other listed tokens. When we identify such projects during our periodic review, we will move them into the innovation zone. Projects placed in the innovation zone will be closely monitored on their developments. And these are the criteria with which they Binance reviews and what they consider a variety of factors commitment of team to project level and quality of development activity trading volume and liquidity stability and safety of the network from attacks network slash smart contract stability level of public communication that is definitely one thing actually it's it's probably the number one thing that jasmine the jasmine team definitely needs to work on it's the level of public communication responsiveness to our periodic due diligence requests evidence of unethical fraudulent conduct or negligence contribution to healthy and sustainable crypto ecosystem now comment below once again what your thoughts on these uh, criteria for what binance has placed on jasmine and which one do you think is the most critical in terms of why there's so much fud going around here is my take on Jasmine being in the innovation zone.